Well, from 10,000 lakes to dense forests and stunning bluffs, it's not hard to fall in love with the great outdoors in Minnesota. But not everyone feels comfortable out in nature. In tonight's Voices for Change, Maury Glover shows us how members of the local Muslim community are coming together to make sure everyone feels welcome. I enjoy being outdoors. It helps connect me with um, nature. On a cloudy fall day in Victoria, the one group of hikers, Connecting with nature reminds you of God and like, you know, the wonders that are in nature. A stroll through the great outdoors. And like just to take a little break from everything that's going on and just to walk and embrace nature. Is more than just a walk in the park. I love nature and I think as older we get, we just realize like that's part of our life and we have to embrace it and protect it. So this is where we're going. It's a loop, and then this is this route. Once a week, several members of the local Muslim community meet at a different location. Most of the time, I don't know a lot of the people, so I make new friends, and we have this strong faith-based connection that, um, you know, really bonds us together. To get some exercise, get in touch with nature, and create community at the same time. We love what she's doing. She's really bringing the whole community together. The organ the organizer of the outing is Nasreen Habib. We hike every Saturday, um, weather permitting. She started hiking hijabi about a year ago to give Muslim women a safe space to experience Minnesota's natural environment and recently created another group to do the same thing for Muslim families. I feel like Muslims are, especially women, mm -hmm. um, our hijab is like a red flag that we're Muslims, mm -hmm. and a lot of us don't feel confident um, accessing parts and stuff alone. Habib says she started hiking after she moved to Minnesota from Houston more than a decade ago as a way to get used to the winter weather. But she says many Muslim women don't feel safe going to parks and trails by themselves because they fear their traditional headscarves called hijabs could make them targets for Islamophobic attacks or strange looks that make them feel unwelcome. Going as a group gives you that sense of security and the safety net that you can like you have people this that are in this with you and feel more comfortable to do those things. Over the last year, the group has taken trips to several state and national parks, including the Grand Canyon. And they do more than just hike. They've also tried their hand at kayaking and canoeing, and even snow tubing and snowshoeing in the dead of winter. The cool thing about it is I'm learning myself too. I don't do a lot of these things. <laughs> so it's not like I'm like this extra outdoorsy uh, a recreational person it's just like I'm learning and it's nice to see people come along for the ride okay we're gonna have how many people on this particular weekend a few of the hikers are camping overnight okay, you want to carry that for me? which for some like Malika the here is a first have you ever put up a tent before I have not I clearly underestimated and I'm way over my head I'm just flailing about over here. <laughs> but this self-described city girl is giving up her creature comforts for one night in order to have a new experience. I'm all for knocking things out your bucket list. Even if it's just the only time I ever do it, I'm, I'm all for trying things once. Habib hopes to encourage more people who look like her to explore the outdoors and help everyone understand when it comes to the natural world, we all share more common ground than we may think. As human beings, we all have more similarities than differences, uh, but sometimes we don't see that because we want to put people in a box. And so just understanding, like, a lot of us enjoy the outdoors. You enjoy the outdoors. Let's start a conversation there. For Voices for Change, Maury Glover, Box 9. What a wonderful group. And oh. These are great social outlets. I mean, I think you sometimes can talk more on a walk than you can just sitting at a table mm -hmm. face to face. Like you just, there's something about being outside that makes things easier. And the state is so beautiful. There are so many yeah. opportunities so to get to out do. there and enjoy it. So why not, right?